what we've gone through is as permanent as it can get, but this is more like symbolic to me. I remember looking up all these different kinds of brain cancers and being like, oh, okay, well, let's just hope it's not glioblastoma. And then first thing a doctor said was, it's grade four glioblastoma. I remember them showing me pictures of the tumor itself. This one was kind of like spider webs spreading throughout her brain. I felt like we had control over nothing. I had a lot of nights where I could not sleep. When is it just going to be me in the bed alone? The second that I learned of DJ's diagnosis, I just knew I wanted to be there for Erin. The fact that she's going through something that I went through 29 years ago is pretty insane. Yeah, it's a brain tumor, and it's the worst one. And then it was, well, all right, well, what do we do right now? Because it was kind of fight or flight, and I guess my body went fight. We are in our house on wheels. We go around meeting survivors, trying to spread positivity and make people smile. <laughs> it's so gratifying because I feel like so many people were there for me and it feels so good to be able to reciprocate. It makes you feel like you're not alone. The community of people who have come out year after year has helped Kyle and I just heal. There's no remote possibility that I'm this upright, this far moving forward, all of that without her. She's a warrior, man.